Hello! Welcome to Palace Sessions, Episode 3. I am Jeff from EQX at the gorgeous Palace Theater, built in 1931. We are so happy to be here. We need your support to keep this incredibly historic venue alive. We all have had so many amazing experiences here. So please, if you can, text PALACE2020 to 44321 to help support the Palace and support the musicians who are going to come back to this theater when we are ready. Thank you so much to our sponsors, St. Peter's Health Partners, CDPHP, Key Bank, High Peaks Event Production, Albany.com. A lot of artists wish they could have their names in lights. Well, I'm sure no artist has ever dreamt that they could play on top of the lights on a marquee. That's how we're gonna start this show for you. Thanks again for tuning in. Please welcome to the marquee at the Palace Theater, Vinny, Jason, Zach, and Rich. It is the Amico Baretti Quartet.
a car you've been saving for, the door to a personal loan that feels genuinely personal, the door to a bedroom for each of your teenagers, the door to a new employee who's also your neighbor, and the door to a happy and full life for you and everyone you know. This year, KeyBank has already opened over 170,000 doors, helping people get from where they were to where they wanted to be. KeyBank opens doors. In 2007, the Palace started a tradition of playing the following movies each year. Rocky Horror Picture Show, It's a Wonderful Life, Three Stooges Film Festival. And since we can't safely gather for concerts right now, let's be honest, the palace is struggling. We need your help more than ever before. Your donation acts like a bridge to help the palace theater get to the other side of this difficult situation. We have got uh, the gentleman of the Amico Baredi Quartet. What was it like to play a marquee on top of a historic theater? Crazy question. You never thought it would be asked, right? <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Yeah. It we, was cool. You know, one other time years ago, Floodwood got to play on top of Relics. I was telling someone before, and that same kind of vibe. Just being on top of a building on a nice day, is there's nothing like yeah. it. Outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, we had never actually done that in that configuration before where we play all acoustic. Yeah, that I'm was I'm not cool on too. a kid. I was playing on the, just to play in the Cajon, and it was like the space and the sound everything was so good we were mixing ourselves we were so tight and close together that we actually played really really well because we were listening just, to yeah, each we were other listening to each other and the space was great it was awesome well future gigs when we get back at it uh, that's yeah. where it's going to happen then the yep. palace theater will have to sell tickets for marquee performance <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone's got to get a drone and watch <laughs> from their drone <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah speaking of that that's got to be a little bit weird in this in this new world where we're doing virtual concerts and things of that nature all of a sudden a drone flies up into your face you seemed unfazed by it <laughs> maybe maybe not you're just professionals just, trying sounds... to pay attention to it, but yeah, that was the thing you could hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't really see it, I just heard it.
My name is Dora Phillip and I'm one of the owners of the Hollow Barn Kitchen in downtown Albany. If you're not familiar with us, we've been in downtown now for going on eight years. We're located at 79 North Pearl Street and we are a notable restaurant with two Rising Star Chef winners under our belt. We're a craft beer bar and a live music venue. We're so thrilled to be a part of this promotion for the Palace Sessions Benefit Concert. We understand exactly what the palace has been going through being a live music venue. Also, our heart goes out to our friends at the palace and we wish them all the best. In conjunction with this promotion, we're happy to offer you a $10 gift card with every $30 purchase online for this benefit itself. It's only for this benefit. We're not doing it any other time. So if you are interested and you'd like to order dinner and watch the amazing show, you can go to our website. That's www.thehollowalbany.com. You click on menus and you'll see the link for our online ordering system. There will be a promo code that you can use. It's palace. And that will generate a $10 gift card, which we will tuck into your to go order and make sure that it's there. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Again, you can access our online ordering system at www.thehollowalbany.com. Also, if you are interested in delivery, we are delivering now up to 20 miles away from our location with Capital Curbside. So that is an option when you um, decide to put in your order for, for dinner that evening. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy the show and we hope to see you soon. Thanks so much, take care. The palace was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. At the time, it cost $3 million to build this theater. It also is a nonprofit organization that offers free arts and education programs, an annual community block party, free family movies, and many other community-focused programs. <laughs>
Marketing is proud to help support artists, music, and performing arts venues, big and small. We have been helping millions of locals and visitors to find events, things to do, restaurants, and other lifestyle businesses on Albany.com, Saratoga.com, LakeGeorge.com, and Adirondack.net for over 20 years. These palace sessions are just what the community needs right now.
The palace has been home to the Grammy award-winning Albany Symphony Orchestra since 1966. Now, most people don't realize that the palace is a non-profit organization. The theater promotes a vibrant downtown and enhances quality of life for everyone throughout the capital region. Thank you. 
Vinny, Jason, Zach, Rich, uh, Amico, Baradi, Quartet, Palace Theater, we will be lost without this incredible venue. We're asking people to please uh, text Palace 2020 to 44321. Any kind of donation you can make would be greatly appreciated. I can't imagine if um, this place would turn into a big box store. It'd be like Red Rocks turning into an amusement park nice. or something. We are nothing if we don't have fantastic musicians with fantastic rooms to play. We mm -hmm. all know that we have amazing memories inside this incredibly historic venue. Uh, let's go around the room real quick. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen a show, if not a hundred here at the Palace Theater. Uh, we'll quickly go around the room and, and relive <laughs> our, our finest memories. <laughs> uh, I have two in particular. First show I ever saw here was uh, Chuck Man Joan in like 86, 80, maybe it was 88, 89. My in-laws took me, my friend, or my friend, my dad was friends with Gap Man Jones, so he's like, whatever happens to get it, you know, at the end of the show, you... Anyway, I didn't do that, but it was an amazing show. Other memory was playing here, um, had to be 2011, 2012, and my, at the time, 14-year-old daughter came out and played, sold out here, we were sold out, and she came up and played Money by Pink Floyd with us, did the solo to a sold-out house, and just crushed it, and place was going crazy and everybody was crying. Being around Vin and get, being here for Mo shows mostly, that's what mostly what I've seen here is Mo and it's always been great. This yeah. is an amazing venue and plus I always had the luxury of being backstage and seeing it from a different angle. I've really never sat up here before in this venue. Let it's alone been. played up. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rich? Believe it or not, I've, I have not seen a show here. Um, so today was your best, your favorite? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's a good memory for sure. Zach? <laughs> I'm afraid my, re my memory is pretty redundant. It was the night that Marley played Money. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
not only musicians and theaters that are, are hurt by this and, and the entire globe, but you forget about all the stagehands, all the sound people, that the list of, of folks that are behind you on stage yeah, that man. put in the work, uh, you know, guitar tech, so on and so forth, that are... The caterers. The caterers, <laughs> exactly, thank you. Uh, you know, so Save Our Stages is an amazing cause. Please text Palace 2020 to 44321. Make any kind of donation you can. You played on top of the marquee today. Uh, very recently, Senator Chuck Schumer was under the marquee making an announcement on how he's proposing legislation to, uh, to try and get a nice chunk of change to, to help at least uh, bridge the gap between uh, as long as it's been since you music musicians were on stage, we were in seats, and right. who knows whenever it's going to come back. So I, I know we all appreciate that. Absolutely. Vinny, it was just before uh, the, the world went on lockdown. This theater, uh, Mayor Kathy Sheehan came up on the stage, if I recall correctly, along with Greg Bell and, uh, and deemed that day. It's the end of February, February 24th, Fourth, I, I think. think it is, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mo Day in <laughs> Albany. That's pretty cool. She gave us the key to the city. It was wild. <laughs> Have you well, been in there? Uh, yeah, I've been all over. <laughs> <laughs> when you were up on top of the marquee, I was uh, making sure that Frankie from Mirth Films didn't step out into traffic uh, with his drone. And the mayor actually drove by. That's funny. And I pointed up to the top of marquee, and she goes, who gave permission for this? <laughs> <laughs> so you got the key to the city. We're good. He's got a key. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we're good. We're with him. Goodness. I actually, when I walked up in the office into going out to the marquee, I'm like, we got the key to the city here. <laughs> I was like, where's our picture? <laughs> it's like the first yeah, picture. Right. So, I have the picture at home, though, I think. I think I have a picture of it. <laughs> so, that's pretty awesome. That was a, that, another great memory here. Again, when you said the memories, that's another great one from the palace. The thing I enjoy so much about live music is being able to see the musicians' faces. Uh, I call it, I think a lot of people maybe call it the tray face <laughs> when you're just gone, you're, yeah, you know, yeah, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I noticed that on all of your faces at one point or another. <laughs> when, when you got that face, the tray face going on, 
are you like having shower thoughts or are you just <laughs> completely 100 percent? yeah in... that's subconscious and, yeah. you're not controlling anything right on, at yeah. that point you, know, you, you wouldn't want to make faces like that if you were controlling it. <laughs> but it fires me up because yeah. it lets me know that you're as into it as well, I am. Well, it's commitment, yeah. Commitment. And you get lost you, in the music. You look at the ceiling of a theater like this, though, and it, that inspires you to do a tray face, too. Absolutely. Because you usually almost always look up before a tray face. I don't know. That and doesn't have anything to do with my face. <laughs> <laughs> I but it is on, a beautiful thing to look I at. I chew gum then, to try to combat the, the face nice. because I get real like really contorted. So if I keep gum in my mouth, it helps. And that's all with the bubbles that you see. It's fun. Keeps the child like, keeps the breathing yeah. going. I don't even know I'm blowing the bubbles, actually. It's just people are always <laughs> like, oh, you're blowing bubbles on your point. Oh, okay. You should have your own gum. Should. Jeez. Looking we could make it. millions. Millions. <laughs>
I have to ask, uh, as a big fan of jazz, seeing a lot of live jazz music, you uh, break it down, sometimes it gets silent, and then you come back. Is the sole purpose for that to get the audience to clap before they're supposed to? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the dynamic feel of the He's music. Onto us, yeah. dude. You know, when you're all <laughs> listening, that, that especially technique. with this music, you're listening so intently because it's moving so much that that if someone starts to do that, everyone else goes with you, and then you see how low you can go. You know, and sometimes it is to mess with people. You know, <laughs> and sometimes it's like to get people to pay attention because instead of getting louder, if you get lower, they pay attention more than they do when you get louder. So. But I don't think really it has anything to do. It's more dynamics of the music. If you watched us tonight, we're kind of talking as we're playing over there. So there's a lot of communicating going on both musically where we're listening and to each other. It's like you take the solo or whatever. Or in the case of, you know, one of those things that you're talking about where Zach's like, big F. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know, that wasn't actually planned until he said it. Or without even verbally saying it, rhythmically, you know, we'll, we'll... put accents and stuff and someone will hear an accent and we'll all catch on and we'll all the next time it comes around that accent gets accentuated and everyone's with it you know
greatly appreciate your time, your effort, your skills to help raise money for the Palace Theater. Anybody watching this at home, please make the donation if you can. Follow these gentlemen and their numerous uh, bands and acts that will be back out on the road touring again. Uh, dive deep into the music and enjoy it. Uh, appreciate it all. What about my golf professor? <laughs> <laughs> the golf special's coming, Jack. <laughs> He's looking for endorsements, by the way. <laughs> Thank going you on so seniors much. tour when I was a champion. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Thanks, this is Jeff. awesome. I thought I did. I thought we did too.
Thank you.